Active Learning Game Design Part 1 A Brief History of Games In this first installment, we're going to learn about how games developed in human societies. Games are as old as human societies. Archaeologists have found traces of game boards made of wood and stone as old as prehistoric times. The first human societies played games for fun, but also to express religious beliefs and develop military concepts. One of the oldest board games played by Egyptians, Greeks and Romans is backgammon. It was possibly first played 5,000 years ago in ancient Sumeria, part of present-day Iraq. The Chinese game of Go was founded in China and is mentioned in 4,000-year-old poems. It was introduced in Japan 1,300 years ago. Shoguns in feudal Japan encouraged the practice of Go because they believed that the game helped develop military tactics. Nowadays, 30 million people in the world play the game of Go, half of them Chinese. The origin of modern chess can be traced back to India with written descriptions of the game existing in 2,000-year-old religious Hindu texts. Card games were played in ancient China and were brought to Europe from Egypt 800 years ago, evolving to the 52 cards version with four suits commonly used today. Until the invention of the printing press, however, decks were handmade and painted, and likely too expensive for most people. Dice games were also handmade and have been used for at least 5,000 years. Early versions were made from animal bones. Modern board games developed at the end of the 18th and through the 19th century. The first known board game credited to its designer is A Journey Through Europe by John Jeffries, published in 1759. Handmade games up to this point in time were unique and expensive, but over the 19th century, improvement in color printing helped reduce costs and companies such as Milton Bradley and Parker Brothers started producing affordable mass-market games. The growth of mass-market games was also made possible through the expansion of department stores and the growth of leisure time. People had more time to play, especially after World War II through time-saving inventions and the movement of populations from farm to cities. War games and simulations of battle were developed in Prussia in the 19th century as a teaching tool for the military. The first war game available to the public was produced by H. G. Wells, also author of The Time Machine, The Invisible Man and the War of the World. H. G. Wells created in 1913 the rules for a game called Little Wars, played with little miniature soldiers. War games reached wide popularity in the 60s and 70s before becoming common in computer games such as Warcraft. It was also in the 1970s that the first role-playing games, a type of games where players take the role of individual heroes through a collectively narrated story, appeared. Dave Arneson and Gary Zizak created the first role-playing game in the early 70s called Dungeons and Dragons. A more recent development is trading card games. Unlike the traditional card games, trading card games are created from hundreds of different types of cards. The goal is to create a deck to defeat your opponents. The first trading card game, Magic the Gathering, was published in 1993 and invented by mathematician Richard Garfield. Nowadays, a board game production is still a billion-dollar industry. Next to timeless classics such as Monopoly and Clue, new games are steadily being developed and integrate more frequently technological elements and applications to enhance the whole gaming experience. This segment is now over. Additional information and sources are linked in the video description.